Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on NGROC on softwaretestinghelp.com. As part of the agenda, we will cover writing few sample apps using Spring Boot and Node.js and we'll try to host them locally and then test through the NGROC based web tunnels. We'll see what is NGROC web interface and what all information does it provide. And finally, we'll see how we can inspect traffic to ngrok tunnels using the ngrok web interface so let's get started creating the sample apps first i'll be using the intellij editor to create spring boot based applications you can very well use other editors like eclipse as well for the same purpose so to create a new project Use Spring Initializer plugin to create a new Spring Boot, Spring Boot based project. Fill in all the project metadata and select web as the project type. Since we are building a RESTful web service, click next and hit finish. So once you hit finish and complete the project setup, you will get a templated application. And this application has a main method with a sample application class. So let's add a controller class here to route requests to the application that will host. I'll annotate it with a REST controller annotation and return hello and grok test app let's add one more here you need to change return type to string i'll add the string name and it will be a templated method All our name here and in request mapping path, I'll add ngrok test. Ngrok test user okay so here in this application once this starts up if we go to localhost 8080 slash ngrok test we should get this output hello ngrok test app and if we specify username here we should get that appended with a username so let's see and try running this application i'll run the main method And it says that it started. Let's open a browser here and let's go to localhost 8080. Since there is no default page, we'll need to go to ngrok test. And we can see that we get that output hello ngrok test app. And if I say username equal to say Robin, now this username is appended to the output as well. So we have successfully started our Spring Boot based web application. Now let's try creating a tunnel using ngrok to this local app. So I'll say ngrok which is the executable client library, HTTP is the protocol and port is 8080. So this should essentially route all my requests to localhost 8080. We'll also see that displayed in the tunnel so these are the tunnels that are created through the ngrok server and it now says that this tunnel will point to http localhost 8080 also important point to note here that you get two tunnels whenever you create a tunnel request to ngrok one is for http and another is for http secure 
and both of these points are forwards to our local host 8080 application so let's try hitting with this created tunnel and see if we get the same response so i'll replace this local host 8080 with the tunnel url and i should still see the same response yeah if i remove this user and i still get the same response that i used to get through localhost so this is how you can tunnel using ngrok to any of your locally hosted application this one we did for a spring boot based web application which was hosted on localhost 8080 now let's try the same exercise for a node.js based application so let's stop this tunnel and you can stop the tunnel by pressing control c and we'll create a sample node app it's a simple node js based application which uses the http module to create a server we are creating a server on localhost port 3000 and once you navigate to this port you should see this response hello world node js app if this application runs successfully so let's run this app i'll say node index.js since this is the base file and we can see that the message is printing server running at this so this message is coming from here server.listen now let's try navigating this url to see if we get this hello world node js app yeah so once we are on this local host 3000 port we get this output and now let's create a tunnel using ngrok to this port so i'll again say ngrok the protocol is still http and now the port is 3000 let's wait while the tunnel gets created and we can see that there is a tunnel that is provided by ngrok let's try hitting using this tunnel i'll replace this with the tunnel url and we still see that our output remains same which means that this tunnel is really directing to localhost 3000 so now we have successfully seen that any web based application that you host on local machine could be tunneled in through ngrok by creating a tunnel on the respective port and the given protocol now let's try understanding a useful utility that is provided by ngrok which is the ngrok web interface it gives this url which is a local url where the ngrok client executable hosts this interface so let's try accessing this url and see what all information we can get from there yeah so this is the web interface first one is inspect which is showing you all the information about the requests that are made to the tunnel once i say clear it just displays that what all tunnels are there active against my account if we go to status it shows me what all information is available about the tunnel itself like in terms of url in terms of auth token other informations like connections and what how many count of http requests has it received similarly for https and time durations and things like that but it it provides a whole lot of useful information for debugging the tunnel that we have set up also another important utility is to inspect or to fiddle with the traffic that is coming with coming on to your tunnel so suppose you created a tunnel and you gave it to say 10 external users when they hit that url the tunnel url all the request will land up on this web interface and then it they will go to the actual tunnel or forwarded url so let's try doing that i'll use this tunnel to so this tunnel got disconnected as the internet goes flaky let's recreate this tunnel again ok 
okay now let me hit this tunnel and we can see this hello world node.js app and we can now see that what all requests are coming to this tunnel so if I hit this save two more times I should see two more get requests here yes you can see here and against each request you see the request headers like you see in other consoles like Chrome Dev Console all the network traffic that is coming to the website that you are hitting so it shows different information like request headers what was the request content and similarly for response in terms of the status code what were the response headers and raw so it's a useful utility that is provided by ngrok to inspect the traffic that is coming onto tunnel other important functionality it gives is the replay so suppose you have find a request and you want to replay it against the tunnel or reissue the same request you can simply say replay and the same request will be executed against the tunnel other things that you can do with this web interface is you can filter the request using this uh, filtering collection it basically allows you to filter on headers it filters on response time or status so suppose if we want to say filter on status code I'll say status code equal to 400 since we don't have any we should not get any match it says no match if I say response size say greater than equal to one byte it shows me all if I change response size to greater than say 1 KB it says no matches so it has different kind of filtering criteria available to to filter content here so that we can get it in say status code 404 and things like that so it it does provide powerful functionality to filter out to specific requests but in general it's a useful utility that ngrok provides out of the box so that's it for this tutorial thank you